What happened, dear? Why are you looking so worried? Ma'am, I don't understand the nervous system and the need of nervous system. It is in my class 10 syllabus. Can you explain me? Don't worry. I will explain you the nervous system and the need of nervous system. You know, every organism must somehow become aware of what is going on around it and accordingly performs action for its survival. Apart from action which provides adjustment to the external environment, there are so many activities going on inside our body of which we are unaware. All such actions have to be properly coordinated. Such coordination occurs because of two agencies, the nervous system and the hormonal system. And talking about the need of nervous system, the nervous system in our body performs various functions like it keeps us informed about the outside world through the sense organ. Now what are the sense organ? The sense organ are our nose, ears, eyes, skin and mouth. It also enables us to remember, think and to reason out. It controls and harmonizes all voluntary muscular activity. Now what are voluntary muscular activity? They are running or even holding a book in your hand while reading it. It regulates involuntary activities like breathing or beating of the heart without our thinking about them. Okay ma'am, I have understood the need of nervous system. Can you tell me what is neuron? Neuron is the unit of nervous system. Our nervous system consists of brain, spinal cord, sense receptacle and a whole lot of nerves. The brain and spinal cord are made up of neuron or nerve cells. The three main parts of the neurons are cell body, dendrites and exon. The cell body is known as perikaryon or cyton. Perikaryon, peri means surrounding and karyon means nucleus. It contains a well-defined nucleus surrounded by granular cytoplasm. It has all the cell organelles like other cells. Only centrosome is absent because nerve cells have lost its ability to divide. The dendrite dendron means tree or branches and dendrites look like the branch of the tree. They have branch cytoplasmic projections of the cell body. They conduct nerve impulse to the cyton. Now talking about the third part, exon. Exon, it is a long process from the cell body. It varies in size from few millimeters to even more than one meter of length. In most neurons, the exon is surrounded by a white insulating sheet called the myelin sheet, which is covered by an outermost thin layer called neurolemma or neurilemma. The myelin sheet shows gaps throughout the length called the node of Ranvier. Some exon may be side branch called collateral. The end portion of the exon has swollen end like bulb which stored certain chemical for neurotransmission. Exon terminals are closely placed near the dendrites of the another or one or more neuron but they are not connected. So this, this is the explanation of the structure of neuron. Now neuron are basically of three types sensory neuron, motor neuron and association or connecting neuron. Sensory neurons conveys the impulse from receptors to the main nerve system. Motor neuron carries the impulse from the main nerve system to the effector that is the muscle or gland. Whereas the association or connecting neurons are located in the brain and spinal cord which interconnect the sensory and the motor neuron. Thank you so much ma'am for explaining me the need of nervous system and what is neuron. Thank you so much for watching. Do like, share and subscribe to my channel for more such videos.